Hi, this is Tutor Nick P, and this is Word Origins 122. The word origin today is egghead. Okay, anyway, let's take a look at the note here. If someone calls another person an egghead, uh, he or she means that person is an intellectual. Okay. However, it is a derogatory term, uh, often suggesting that person acts like a know-it-all, like they know everything, their intellect, their brain is above you, you are below them, kind of like that. Uh, someone who is more interested in theories than practical actions. Okay, let's continue. The origin derived from the fact that egghead was commonly used for someone who was completely or partially bald. Okay. You may still hear it used for a bald person today. Um, but it is more commonly used for an intellectual. Of course, the association to a bald person is obvious. Uh, without hair, the human head looks more oval, like an egg. So, when you're bald, your head kind of looks kind of like an egg. Uh, the connection of egghead to intellectuals is the idea that intellectuals may lose their hair uh, because of being very studious or using their brain too much or something like that. Okay, anyway, uh, we have three examples here. Here's the first example. He is just some egghead uh, that wrote a lot of books and he believes his theories are superior to others. Yeah, this is a perfect example of it because, you know, you kind of use it in a derogatory way. You're kind of showing you don't really like this person. Uh, the second one's probably more to do with Paul. In the world of Marvel superheroes, uh, Marvel superheroes, Professor X of the X-Men was an egghead. Now, he was bald, but he also was an intellectual, but he wasn't disliked. He was, you know, um, people liked him. He was, a, you know, one of the uh, head of the school for the X-Men, so he wasn't, you know, like uh, talking down to people. But still, you might use it with somebody like that. And number three here, this is a famous case. Adelaide Stevenson was called an egghead by Richard Nixon. Remember Richard Nixon, you know, he eventually became president. I think here, uh, this is before when they were running in a campaign, he referred to somebody from the other party as uh, an egghead. Okay, anyway, I hope you got it. I hope it's clear. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.